Hello friends! Welcome to my channel. I'm Pixie Sticks. Thank you so much for spending some of your time with me today. This video will be another draw and chat where I have a time lapse running in the background and just chat with you a little bit about something that's been on my mind or something that I had thoughts about that I thought would be good to share. Before I get really into the topic and start talking about it, I did want to briefly mention the art that's going on in the background here. This is a sticker design for my next Patreon sticker sheet that's coming out in November. And so if you like this type of art and you would like to have it for your very own as a sticker, please click the link in my description to head over to my Patreon and join one of the sticker tiers. This month's sheet is a celestial theme with a blue and gold color palette. And the one I'm working on in this video is the star goddess. And there will also be a sun and moon goddess too. Okay, so as you have seen by the title of this video, this is all going to be about the secret to improving your art. And it's not just practice. <laughs> and the reason I say that is because a lot of times when you're looking for advice on how to quickly improve your art, the answer you will get is just practice and that will magically propel you forward it takes time and yes all of that is true practicing is very important but i think there's a bit more to it and it's not something that i hear people talk about a whole lot so that's what i want to get into on this video okay so what's the problem with saying just practice a lot and you will eventually get better while it's partly true, I do believe that practicing without some kind of direction or specific training won't really get you very far because basically what you're doing is just the same mistakes over and over again unless you can figure out for yourself what mistakes you're making and how to fix them. So what can you do besides just practice? Well, you could take a class, however, those are often pretty time consuming and can get pretty expensive. So it depends on what your budget and your schedule looks like as far as whether or not that's an option for you. There are free tutorials on YouTube that you can look up and watch and those help a lot and they're the best price, <laughs> free. But the thing that has worked best for me personally and is pretty much how I learned everything I know so far, is to immerse myself in that world. And what I mean by that is specifically seek out the things you want to improve on. For instance, if you want to get better at digital art, watch a lot of speed paints, watch a lot of time lapses, figure out their process just by observing watch which brushes they use to do which thing, or whether they start in grayscale and move to color. Find multiple artists whose style you really admire and would like to emulate, and try and figure out how they achieve their style. Do studies of their finished images, watch their speed paints if they have any, and figure out what steps they take to arrive at their finished result. You don't even necessarily need to be following along in your own art program while, while you're watching videos of artists you admire, for instance. Just really take it in. Instead of just listening to the video and doing something on the side, really watch what tools they're using or how they're making their strokes. And next time you try and do some art, incorporate that technique into your artwork and see if you can get your art to look more like that. And just to clarify, when I say see if you can replicate their artwork, don't then post that artwork and say that it was yours, obviously. <laughs> I just want to put that disclaimer in. What I mean is use that as your practice. Try and see if you can then take those techniques and apply them to an original piece of your own work from many different artist examples so that you're not directly copying just one. Just as an example, 
Here is an image of the very first watercolor painting I did, which is of Toad from Mario. And I did it without having really paid attention at all to any watercolor videos or any watercolor painting specifically. I really didn't know what I was doing. And if you know anything about watercolor, you can probably tell because it's all splotchy. The colors are not even everywhere and everything kind of bled together and I didn't fix it very well. Now compare that with my next watercolor painting that I did over a year later, but I hadn't done any other watercolor practice in between these two. What I had done though was watch a lot of YouTube videos of watercolor artists and really pay attention to what they were saying about how they practice their artwork with that particular medium. This piece isn't perfect either, but it's a pretty big improvement in my opinion from that first one I did, and especially without having practiced at all. I experienced something similar when I tried alcohol markers for the first time and also gouache for the first time because both of those I had watched tons of videos on before I tried them out because they were very interesting to me and I wanted to try them. I just didn't have them yet. <laughs> so when I did finally get them and try them out, I had watched enough videos and picked up enough tips that while I wasn't an expert right off the bat, I definitely felt like I knew what to expect and I had a bit of an idea of where to start and how to go about using that technique. On a somewhat related note, another thing you'll hear a lot is don't compare your artwork to others, compare it to yourself and see how much you've improved. And while I agree that's great for your self-confidence, if your goal is to improve your art and you really like how someone else is doing a particular thing, comparing your artwork to someone else's art should be more of an exercise rather than something you do just unconsciously that makes you feel bad. So what I mean by that is if you really like the way one person draws noses, look at the noses you typically draw and compare them side by side with that person's noses that they draw and see what's different and use that information to try and draw noses more like the other person's noses. <laughs> Photo references can help a lot, but in my personal experience and opinion, I just do better working from references of other people's artwork because my art style is somewhat cartoony. So trying to go from a realistic photo to a cartoony style can be difficult when I want to be more stylized. So instead, I've kind of just immersed myself in the artwork of other people who I admire and taken bits and pieces from all those artists and kind of meshed it together into my own style. And that style is constantly evolving. It's okay for you not to have a constant style because it's more of a journey than a destination, or at least it should be. We can't ever climb a mountain if we're standing still, right? Anyway, that's my secret to how I have come as far as I have come with my artwork. It's all been observation and immersion into those mediums that I really wanted to improve on. I hope this video helped you a little bit and maybe gave you something to think about if you haven't thought about things this way before. And I hope you enjoyed the time lapse going on in the background. Once again, my Patreon link will be in the description if you'd like to check it out to get this as a sticker next month. Huge shout out and thank you to my current patrons. They're so supportive and awesome and I appreciate them all very much. If you like this kind of content, let me know by giving this video a like so I can know to do more things like this in the future. And please consider subscribing. 
If you're new to my videos, I always put a win of the week thread in the comments for you to kind of have a discussion with me and each other about what's going well in your life that week. This week, my win is that my husband finally fixed my studio door. It wouldn't latch properly, so the animals kept shoving their noses into it to make it fly open at random times. And now they can't do it anymore. It's great. Okay, that's it for me. Bye, everybody. Bye.